Hello, welcome to Girls STEM Academy. In this multi-part series, we are going to learn the basics of SQL, such as installation and the most popular commands. In this first video, we are going to start by showing you how to install MySQL, a commonly used database that is available for free, so you could download and use SQL. Before we begin, let's see how many jobs there are in SQL. I typed a search into LinkedIn, and as you can see, in just the US alone, there are over 1 million open jobs as of today for SQL. As you watch this video, please click the subscribe button and click notifications on. It really makes a big difference for us to create good video content. To start off in your web browser, enter MySQL download, then scroll down and click MySQL Community Downloads. Then click on MySQL Installer for Windows. I'm going to click on the second link. Click download, and you can just click no thanks, just start my download. And when it's done downloading, it will prompt you with a message asking if it can allow changes to your device, and you can just click yes to that. All right, so now your installer is finished downloading and it should pop up with this screen and you can click the next button and then click next again and click yes. Now I'm just going to execute all of these. This will take some time to install. All right, so now all of these have been installed, so we can click the next button, and you can click next again, and now click next again. This part should say use strong password encryption for authentication, and you can click next. So now you should be at the screen that says accounts and roles, and you have to enter a MySQL root password and make sure to make this a very strong password. And once your password is strong, you can click the next and you can click next again and click execute. And finally click the finish button here. Now click the next button again and click finish again. And next again and here you will have to enter your password that you created before. And once it checks that it's correct, you can click the next button and click execute. And click finish. Now your screen should look like this saying configuration complete, not needed and complete. And you can click next again. And you don't have to do this. You don't have to copy the log to the clipboard. So you can just click the finish. And there you go. Now you've opened the MySQL workbench. And over here is the MySQL shell. So now that you have MySQL workbench installed and open, you can click File, New Query Tab, and here, as you can see in the top, it says unconnected. So we're going to click on database and connect to database and choose the option that says local instance MySQL 80 and click OK. And now you will have to enter your password again. So once you click on the schemas tab, you can see that MySQL Workbench already has some default data for you to use and play with. So for example, if we go into this first one, Succula, you can click on tables and you can see that there's an actor table here. So in our next video, 
we will show you how to run some SQL. But just to show you an example um, of one command, you can do use succula and then a semicolon. Then select everything, and everything is represented by the asterisk. Select everything from succula dot actor and then a semicolon and then you can click this second button here the second lightning bolt and as you can see it selected all of the items from the succula dot actor table here in our next video we will show you more of these commands so you can get a basic understanding of sql we hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see any other video from us on any topic that interests you, please mention it in the comments below. Check out our other videos right here on the metaverse and Bitcoin. Please click the subscribe button to support us so we can add more content every week. Thank you for watching.